Hello, Park Ridge. I hope you're having a great week. It's uh, great for us to be back in town. We just got back from a wonderful family vacation. Our whole family together for the first time since um, Christmas of 2018. So it was uh, really great to have all of our adult kiddos and uh, granddaughter together with us. I'm excited about continuing our series uh, of teaching, You Are Sent, from the book of Acts. And this week we'll be in Acts chapter 21, verses 1 through 16. So I would encourage you to go ahead and read that passage, Acts 21, verses 1 through 16. Just a small portion of that passage to, to warm us up to what we're going to be looking at on Sunday. Beginning in verse 10, While we were staying for many days, a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. And coming to us, he took Paul's belt and bound his own feet and hands and said, Thus says the Holy Spirit, This is how the Jews at Jerusalem will bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. And when we heard this, we and the people there, we, we urged him not to go to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What are you doing, weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be imprisoned, but even to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And since he would not be persuaded, we ceased and said, Let the will of the Lord be done. Now, that phrase, let the will of the Lord be done, can mean lots of different things. It could be a comment of frustration. Let God's will be done. Or it can be a, a comment of commitment. Let the will of the Lord be done. More than likely, the, the followers of Paul and those disciples with Paul, they probably meant both. They were frustrated that Paul would take himself into a potentially dangerous situation, but they were also cognizant of the fact that persecution and suffering was a part of the plight of being a Christian. And Paul certainly was no stranger to that. So as we prepare our hearts for Sunday, let me ask you to consider, what is it that God is calling you to? I think often American Christianity has a tendency to look at Christianity from a comfort perspective. I want to follow God as long as you fill in the blank. But, you know, God is really calling us to follow him, sometimes in spite of and because of, not with the idea of an exception or comfort or softness or anything like that. So where is it that God is leading you? And are you in any way hesitating to take the steps that God is calling you to? I hope you prepare your heart in prayer and even in song as we get ready to come together on Sunday to open the Word of God, the truth of God, and consider what it is He's calling us to. May Paul be an example of extreme obedience on our behalf. Hey, God bless you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you this Sunday.